believe so strongly in, you know. Okay, good, good. Um, tell us from, uh, uh, you, you brought up the, the fact that your family is a minority here in this country. Um, give us, I don't know, any take on that from a young perspective of uh, how that feels growing up in America. Is it even an issue anymore? Do you ever feel different? Um, actually, to be honest, I've felt like uh, I've had pressure upon myself because of being a minority in the United States. Uh, I feel like I have to overcome certain things, certain stereotypes that are just out there. Um, but is it a problem? I don't think so, because at the end of the day, it comes down to if you are willing to put that change in for yourself, and if you're willing to work hard for it. It's just the, the majority of the people that you are um, considered a part of you just want to make sure you get that impact across to them as well. Good, good. And uh, one of the things that, that I like to, uh, I've been a, a student of the civil rights movement for, uh, since I was 25, I'm 50 now, and the more that I learn about Dr. King, and then I studied Mr. Gandhi and Mr. Mandela, and great freedom fighters, and now we're taking his message into prisons and schools and communities, and trying to deal with real issues. I uh, was in Ferguson, uh, Missouri uh, last week with all that's going on around that shooting and there's a lot of uh, racial unrest and turbulence in our country and it, it wasn't just a 60s thing. I mean today it's happening and all over the world um, there are people that are being uh, mistreated and put down and, and slavery has been an issue throughout time and it wasn't, it, it, there were slaves from every different part of the world and today um, human trafficking and slavery is alive and well and, and so uh, we fight to, to help our black brothers and sisters and people of color to be free and have the same opportunities that we're afforded but we also understand that around the world this is a human problem it's not just a, a black thing or a poor thing or a brown thing or a inner city it's suburbs it's white black brown Asian you know it's a human thing so there we go and tell us um, let's go ahead uh, 20 years into the future and what message would you tell a young generation um, understanding what you know now or what you believe in now what would your message be um, my message would be to stop being lazy and do something because I feel that a lot of people from our generation especially people like your age say all oh, the generation nowadays they don't do anything and they're lazy and that's completely true because we just sit around on social media and we don't have anything to fight for. So if I could say one thing, I would say to get out and fight for the things that you believe in and do what you want to do. Awesome. Um, I would go down the same path to fight for what you believe in. Uh, there's always going to be problems in this world, so uh, what I would say is go out there and try to fix them. Try to put your take on the world and make a positive change to, to any problems that are around you and around society that you, that you live in. Good, good. And one more thing. What is the Power of Peace movement to you? Sum it up. The Power of Peace movement to me. Um, to do something that others might not think is cool, try to convince people that it's the hip, cool thing to do. Oh man, we're gonna we're gonna end with that. That's awesome. That uh, we're gonna change what cool looks like and create a new normal. The bully is no longer cool. You know, the kid that's high all the time and doesn't get anything done, not cool. You know, the you know, hope is the new dope. And those that are wasting their time or creating violence or bullying on kids that are weaker or excluding people because of, you know, the color of their skin or maybe they you know, look a little different. We're gonna, we're, we aim to make that not cool anymore. And now the peacemaker is cool. The one that looks after the weak is cool. The one that is sober. Sober is the new sexy. Hope is the new dope. <laughs> Signing off. Bye. Power of Peace Project, alive and well at Georgia State University. <laughs> and Dr. Dr. King, Gandhi, Mandela, Mother Teresa, Maya Angelou. There's so many beautiful peacemakers. And we want to tell the whole world, peace is powerful. Embrace it. Live it.